any time a helicopter went over, that affected me very much because I saw some guys die in a helicopter, well, actually two helicopter crashes in Vietnam. The biggest trigger for me is, is smell. They do have a lot of nightmares. They have to do with what happened out there, most of them. I was in Arabic class and I remember, um, I remember the teacher, like I remember him lecturing us and I looked out the window and all of a sudden I started seeing things that weren't there. Um, I really thought my rapist was there. Um, I really thought he was going to come in the window and get me. Before going to Iraq, I, I really didn't understand what road rage was. I couldn't understand why people would get so angry and I found myself really furious at people who would do things, not even necessarily cutting me off and being dangerous, but just stupid things. Back in the days when I, when I was going through what I call my Chernobyl period, um, I slept uh, one or two hours every other day. And I never slept without a loaded gun and a survival knife near me. A lady was coming towards me in a hurry and she dove right into her purse. And the first thing I did instantly was, I need to protect my, my nieces. I started scooting them behind the pillar, started moving away. And I instantly went reaching for my hip and realized, wait, I don't have a knife or a gun. And this happened in like three seconds. And all she did was in my head, all I was thinking was gun, 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 gun. She's gonna pull a gun on me. And all she did was get her cell phone. Sometimes I really can't leave my house. When I first came back, I couldn't even walk in Walmart. Um, I had a real hard problem going to Walmart. I'd hear people talk from a different language and it put me on edge. I would literally back up against the aisle in the wall and watch the aisle down until they passed, if they were behind me. I used to disappear on weekends uh, and just drive. Uh, come home on Monday morning and go to work. They understand why I would do things like uh, I would drive to New York City to get a cup of coffee at night and drive home. Driving became my release. They couldn't understand that at the time. They do now. They, they, they realize that I just had to do that. The emotional numbness, I think, is the most, uh, it's, it, it'll just tear away all the relationships in your life. I don't want to have to try and explain it to people. And I don't want to, didn't want to have to go over my experiences every single time to try and let somebody know. And uh, so it's much easier just not to have friends. Everything I did was wrong. Uh, the war in Vietnam was my fault. Um, anyone who died there, I might as well have pulled the trigger. It was my fault. Um, so therefore, I wasn't worth, probably wasn't worth helping. I trusted no one, absolutely zero trust, even in my own family, my own sons, uh, my, my immediate family. And friends that I had lost total trust in my friends because I just, I felt like if I trusted somebody and somewhat opened up, I was going to get hurt. If, if you're going around saying everybody else has a problem and it's not me, chances are, yeah, you're the one with the problem.